everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. In fact, probably the most impressive thing about this brand and about this partnership that we have is that we've got promotional opportunities for you to take advantage of deflation. We're going to help you save money. So listen up. So typically... What Mint Mobile does is offer a great deal in wireless service. Uh, they sell lines for as low as $15 per month. But what they're doing now with the deflation promotion is they're going to charge you $15 for any of their four plans, whether it's the entry level plan, the 10 gig, the 15 gig, or what I would encourage you to try is the unlimited plan, all of them $15 per month. So the same price for any plan. Just think about how much money you'll be saving and the value in that pricing. So go ahead and use our partner link. It's in the description. We welcome you to the movement. Activate a SIM. You could do eSIM, physical SIM. They'll ship you one. Folks, take advantage of this opportunity. You can't beat this price. The legendary customer care. The partner link in the description will help you unlock those savings. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. Link in the description. Use it. You'll save money and you'll be helping out the channel. SMT Nation, we back. All right, we're going to be doing a, a pretty deep dive today into root metrics. The first half 2023 results are in. We've got, I think, all of the major metros that they test for. It's like 125 markets or something. They're all in. All right, but we're not going to take a look at all of them. We're going to look at mine, my particular market. I'm going to just look at all the different data points that root metrics collected. Obviously, they're drive testing second to none. Uh, they do it the best. They've always been pretty accurate. We're going to take a look at the results, what they found out, what they could tell us here for the first half 2023. I'm also going to look at the state score. We're going to go through the website. We're going to look at all the elements. We'll see how Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile are doing within my market, my state. And then we'll kind of, we'll see if they're improving. We'll see if any of the carriers are getting worse or better. What you want to do is you want to go to rootmetrics.com. All right, and then you want to select root score reports. It's right here on the screen. Input for the cities uh, that you want to check out. So I'm just going to move me over here for a second, and you'll see all the cities are listed here. All right, so you're, you've got all types of data points. Now notice that they keep Sprint up there, and that's just because Sprint has been tested in the past. But anyways, we're going to scroll down to the wonderful Cleveland market, and there we are. All right, and it's you see that it's got on the side here, uh, first half 2023 to let you know uh, that the city was tested. So you click on it, and then you're going to see all of the different, and, and I'm going to just get me out of here for now. Uh, you're going to see all of the different testable metrics that they have. So they've got overall performance right here, uh, and that gives you the overall benchmark. Network reliability, network accessibility, network speed, data performance, call performance, and text performance. Get a, just a general snapshot of how a carrier is doing in a market. Look at the overall performance. Look at the scores. As we've got first half 2023 selected. And actually, this is kind of cool. You go to market stats, and you can see exactly where they tested. In my opinion, they did a pretty nice job testing here based on the miles driven at almost 2,800 miles, 91 indoor locations, right? So it shows you they do test indoor. Everybody thinks they do these like drive tests. They just stay in the car. All right, those are indoor tests, folks. All right. And they tested for a full week, right? A little bit extra, eight days of testing. All right, they went all the way up to the edge, Northeast Ohio, right by Pennsylvania. Looks like they got pretty close to Conneaut. All right, you'll see West I think they got pretty close to probably like just outside of Cuyahoga County and into Lorain County. And then in the south, you got like kind of approaching the Akron area, getting pretty close. There, Akron's down here. Uh, they did a pretty nice job of testing the market. All right, now you look at overall performance. Verizon came in at number one at 98.5. AT&T at 97.9. Not that much of a difference, right? There is a little bit of separation, but not much. And T-Mobile came in at 97.7. Not much different there. Very close to AT&T. Okay, so here's something I want to point out. T-Mobile historically, you know, in the in for the last few years, a very, very fast, speedy network. When you look at their mean or average speeds across markets, very, very fast. 
the N41, the 5G you see, has been an incredible capacity layer for them, right? And it's a factor, but it's not the only factor, right? Clearly, if this was all about speed, the overall score would go to T-Mobile, but it doesn't. There must be something here that T-Mobile must be lacking in that's kind of like reducing their performance. But really, they're not that far back. They're very, very close. In fact, I think last year, uh, second half 2022, T-Mobile was the outright winner or tied with Verizon or something for it. Anyways, they're all very good overall here. I can confirm this is definitely the case. T-Mobile's median download speed increased from 362 to 388. I'm guessing that might be probably backhaul upgrades, kind of showing some improvement there. And then T-Mobile's median upload speed decreased from 24 megabits to 18. All right, that's a pretty sizable decrease. I'm guessing you've got some T-Mobile home internet usage. You've got some mobile customer growth, right? It is dipping a little bit. So with some densification, I think addressing, adding some small cells, they can kind of you know fix that and make that better and improve in that. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's click on network reliability. I like reliability. It goes to Verizon and AT&T. All right, Verizon at 99.2, AT&T at 98.9. Those are both very good scores, all right? Very, very respectable. T-Mobile, not bad, 97.7. Definitely lagging their competitors, but not bad. I'm guessing that this has improved quite a bit, all right? Because we have seen some pretty poor reliability scores in some instances for T-Mobile. So that's, that's actually pretty good, 97.7, not bad. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else out. Let's click on network accessibility. T-Mobile came in at number one with 98.7. Now, this is notable. They're way out ahead compared to their competitors, right? 98.7 for T-Mobile, uh, 93.2 for Verizon. That's a pretty big separation. And then AT&T, 90.2. Uh, network accessibility has been a problem for AT&T historically, and it continues to be their worst characteristic of quality with respect to their network. So T-Mobile way out ahead in this. Looks like they're doing a nice job in the accessibility piece. All right, let's take a look at network speeds. All right, this one goes to T-Mobile as well. 99.4, right? Verizon came in second at 97.0, and then AT&T came in third at 96.3. AT&T and Verizon very close, but out ahead is T-Mobile. They're Definitely a, a higher score than Verizon. And this is kind of a testament, I think, to the N41 upgrades. Basically, every single tower site in the Cleveland market has the N41 upgrades of the 5G UC. Right? Verizon is basically done with N77 here. Uh, they've, they've upgraded most of their sites. There may just be a few left. Uh, next step for them is going to be densifying the small cell upgrades with N77. And for AT&T, they've done a pretty nice job of, upgrade, of upgrading and modernizing their sites as well. They've got a little more work to do to get to all the sites with the DoD and the C-band. But for the most part, folks, those are pretty good scores. But T-Mobile definitely out ahead, uh, separating themselves amongst the competition. All right, let's take a look at data performance. Okay, so T-Mobile recorded the fastest median download speed, 388, very impressive. Verizon recorded the fastest median upload speed, at almost 19 megabits per second. All right, now I'll tell you guys something about that. T-Mobile used to have the best uplink here. In the last year, I've seen it and tested it and noticed it regressing a little bit. Verizon has stepped up with all their upgrades and having a denser network with more tower sites, it's clearly making a difference, right? So I think that's kind of what's happening there. Uh, with T-Mobile's median download speed, obviously, you know, they're, the rest of the carriers are in catch-up mode, so they're out ahead there. Uh, this is good stuff here. Take a look at these scores. All right, T-Mobile came in at 99.5, impressive. Verizon, 97.9, that's still good. And AT&T at 97.4, that's good. So they're pretty tight, but T-Mobile's still, you know, ahead of the competition with respect to data performance. All right, now let's take a look at T-Mobile's Achilles heel, calling. They historically do very poorly here with the calling. And that looks to be a continuing weakness of T-Mobile. Not all that bad, right? A 95.2 isn't the end of the world, uh, but they do lag the competition. Verizon, the legendary calling network, 99.5. AT&T, very good at 98.9. So T-Mobile, really the lagger here. It's definitely improved. I can I can definitely see that. I think, uh, I think with some time, it can continue to make some strides to get better. But it's 
still continues to be their Achilles heel and their weakness. And, you know, people still drop calls and T-Mobile still has problems with calling on their network. And I don't know if voice over NR is necessarily going to fix that problem. All right, let's take a look at text performance. The only thing I look here is if there's any issues and we don't have any. All right, T-Mobile 99.6, Verizon 99.5 and AT&T 994. All right, so texting seems fine. Okay, so when we go back to the overall performance, pick your carrier, right? They're all very good. Verizon 98.5, AT&T 97.9, T-Mobile 97.7. Who gives you the best price, all right? For the most part, I think that's going to hold up pretty nicely. None of the carriers are congested here. None of the carriers seem to have major flaws. The only thing I could say that could be a problem occasionally could be a call on T-Mobile, Right, the network reliability is pretty good. T-Mobile's gotten much better. Right, those are some of the weaknesses we've seen. And of course, carriers continue to densify with upgrades, improving speeds, and giving people good service over these uh, over these times. All right, now if I go back to second half 2022, just to show you guys the difference. Right, here's what it was. Oh no, this is first half of. Okay, so I gotta get no second half 2022. AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile were tied all at 99, right? So there has been some regression based on the testing. All the carriers were better last half, right? Uh, I don't know if that's major, if that's that's much of an issue. Uh, but based on these scores, you know, accessibility, T-Mobile, network speed, T-Mobile. I don't know. They look, they look good. Um, but definitely it looks like Verizon and AT&T have stepped up their game. Looks like traffic on T-Mobile is getting a little tougher. All right, now what I want to do is I want to show you guys something here. Let's go to root score reports. And so previously we were looking at metro areas, right? So you guys can see how they do that. And you can select your city. Uh, let's go ahead and go state national. Click on that drop box there. And let's go to Ohio. Let's see how things are going there. First half 2023. Let's get me out of the way. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can see some detail on these images. All right, so this is for Ohio, first half 2023. AT&T seems to be the best carrier for Ohio. And I can concur. AT&T is a phenomenal provider to have in the state. Across the state, they've got a very modern network. And they've continued to modernize it with DOD and C-band radios and antennas. And it's paid off uh, in a big way. They've done a really nice job of upgrading the network over the last several years with the FirstNet contract, plus now with additional Spectrum assets. They're doing a nice job. All right, so overall, AT&T 98.1, Verizon 97.3, T-Mobile 93.9. So there must be something else happening here hurting T-Mobile's overall score as they pretty much lag the other two competitors by a sizable margin. Let's go to reliability. AT&T 98.7, Verizon 98. T-Mobile 94, right? Clearly, they do have some reliability issues. You know, so the data network, while very fast, we know that, uh, it does seem to have some issues here and there uh, based on some back-end, you know, processes possibly. When we go to accessibility, T-Mobile takes the cake, right? 94.7, Verizon 93.9, AT&T 92.1. Not huge, sizable differences between the carriers, but T-Mobile finished first. For speeds... AT&T 98.5, right? Why is AT&T speeds faster or more often faster, right? And that's because their network is A, very modern, B, their tower grid is pretty dense, and C, the fiber circuits. And in no order, those are the types of things that able that enables AT&T to have a very fast, speedy, reliable network, right? So 98.5 for speed. Uh, the rating for T-Mobile 97, right? Nice job there. And Verizon at 96. They're all pretty close, but AT&T the fastest in general, right? Having the best speeds, speed performance. All right, now for the data performance, again, AT&T 98.5, Verizon 97.5. They're very close. And then T-Mobile's pretty close to it, 96.9. Those are good results. All right, now let's go to call performance. AT&T 98.2, Verizon 96.9. So they're better than T-Mobile by a pretty sizable margin. Calling continues to plague T-Mobile on the metro level and the state level. And, of course, it's going to impact them in the national level. And texting, they're all fine for the most part. AT&T 99.2, Verizon 98.5, and then T-Mobile at 96.7. All 
All right, so maybe some trouble with text occasionally from T-Mobile. I don't know. But that's that's what they are in Ohio. That's what the carriers are, and that's what they are in the metro level with Cleveland. We just did a deep dive into the Root Metrics report for the first half 2023. I'll be sure to link the uh, the webpage for you here so you guys can check it out on your own. It'll be in the description. And, um, you know, definitely if you want to support us, you appreciate the time uh, in making content, producing content here on the channel, our live streams, our podcasts. Show some love by buying us a coffee. Link will be in the description. Keep the SMT caffeinated and motivated. And don't forget, if you're looking for a really good deal on your wireless service, folks, look no further than our partner, Mint Mobile. Right now, they got the deflation promo, right? You can get yourself a great deal. The unlimited plan, which normally sells for 30 bucks, get it for $15. Just use our partner link. It's as simple as that. Mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. This new customer offer through the deflation promo is a great value. And of course, legendary customer care from our partner, Mint Mobile. Uh, go ahead and use our partner link. Save those dollars and you'll be helping out the channel. Anyways, that's it for today's video, folks. Thanks for watching. Comment. Let me know what you guys think of all the things that we saw today and we went over. Love to hear what you guys have to say. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. And we shall see you all on the next one. Peace.